Welcome back, Shark fans. Another week, another edition of Brownie Points. Brownie, how are we doing today? Doing great. Thanks for having me. So we went Masters last week. Explain to the fans what we got going on today. Well, it was WrestleMania and Masters last week, so we did Masters last week, and now we're doing WrestleMania this week, uh, and I think the guys have fully embraced it. Going to bring a special guest here in a moment, but first, sweep last week against St. Leo. You guys go 26 hits in game two alone. Explain that offensive explosion that happened the whole week throughout the lineup. You know, I think that we uh, had a great week of training leading up to it, and I think that um, our guys were just locked in. It was one of those things where every single thing uh, that was in the zone, uh, anything elevated, we hammered. And uh, I'm just really, I, honestly, it was one of those things where we just stepped back as coaches and be like, wow, that was pretty impressive. Let me tell you what, <laughs> you guys think you're the best because you've played the best? Well, I'm the best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dynamite drop in by the Macho Man. Love that. Anyway, Dominic Diana. <laughs> we'll try to recover here. Five hits in game three. DH has kind of been a role that's been unsettled all year. Can we expect to see more of him moving forward? Yeah, I mean, that's our hope. You know, Dom uh, definitely uh, has been chomping up the bit to get in the lineup. And uh, when he has, he's had some pinch hits, uh, uh, drove some baseballs. I, I think that uh, he's really done well um, as of late, and I think that his training has, has been second to none. So uh, trying to get him in has been a thing and a theme of ours, and now if he's rolling, we're going to ride that out. Macho Man, a.k.a. Andrew Liberty, had his second cycle in a year last weekend. Prior to your coaching, have you ever seen one, let alone two, like that? Yeah, I've seen a cycle before, but uh, to have two cycles and back-to-back -back games played at St. Leo is a pretty neat thing. Uh, you know, and uh, you know, he just keeps up the same theme of being snubbed by the SSC and weekly uh, awards. So I like that part of it too. You guys, now the win streak is up to nine in a row. How do you keep the guys from staying focused and not get complacent? You know, I, I think that it, it, we just stay into our process, which is training. And I think, uh, we, trust me, we have a enough fun around here that uh, when it gets down to the work uh, that we can stay focused. I think that the guys uh, have energy and feel for where we are in the season. Um, they understand that uh, we're in the midst of, of a, you know, a playoff push, a conference push. And uh, so we just got to focus on Lynn this weekend and, and uh, be ready to battle. And each of the last three years, we've seen runs like this kind of middle of the end of the year. You as a coach, how do you seem to get the best out of your guys at this point in the season? You know, I think that, um, I think I'm very fortunate to have the coaching staff that I have. You know, and the, uh, there's a lot of work that goes into the tweaking of what we do to put the best lineup, the best nine out there, to put guys in the best role so that they succeed. Um, I think also culture takes a while to set in, and I think that the culture of winning is something that uh, is a learned process and how we win, because we don't play the same style of baseball that everybody else does. And so when guys come in from different programs, it's often a, uh, a learning curve that we need to go through. And I think that um, the better we are at understanding how they learn and communicate, the better we can be as coaches. And so that's our goal, and I think that uh, you know, sometimes maybe I think I'm a slow learner. You know, I'd, I'd like to get off to better starts, you know, but I mean, at the end of the day, uh, it matters how we play towards the end. And um, if we can continue to ride this and, and, and continue to stay hot, I think that, um, you know, going into the, um, you know, regional play and everything would be uh, the ideal time to peak. Yeah, you got Lynn coming in tomorrow. With the way you guys are clicking, is it, do you focus so much on the opponent? Is there more so to stay locked in on your own self, let, let that take care of it? You know, as coaches, I think we focus on the opponent, but as players, I think that we focus on preparing them to, um, you know, what type of pitcher are we going to see? We prepare them, uh, you know, the pitchers on what type of lineups they're going to face. Um, so I think that I think that there is strategy to the opponent, knowing if you know they're a team that likes to run a lot, a team that likes to bunt a lot, a team that hits the long ball, um, so that we can prepare for that mentally um, going into a series. But I think that um, you know for the most part, I like to keep our guys in a routine, and I think that there's an ebb and flow to every player within the course of a season, and keeping them focused on being the best version of themselves this week is something that we try to focus on. And Lynn, how they've historically been, they put up a bunch of runs. They did it last week with 16 and 17 against Florida Tech. With your guys on the mound, how do you prevent that from happening this week? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they got some guys that can really slug. And I think that, um, you know, I, I trust what Ramsey does with the pitchers, and I trust that uh, they're going to be able to go out and execute pitches. Um, at the end of the day, um, we have to execute. And so, um, if, if our guys go in and, and I think pitch their games, I think that we match up well. And, and oftentimes we see teams come in 
uh, and face our pitching staffs. And, and you know, they usually have pretty good offensive numbers, but I think that Ramsey does such a great job in preparing to get opponents out that, um, you know, it puts us in a position of success. And final question, better brawl yesterday, Red Sox, Yankees, or Rockies, Padres? I'm going to take uh, Arenado's charge, <laughs> and I'm going to take Joe Kelly's stance on the mound, okay, you know? Okay. I didn't like the glove toss by, uh, <laughs> uh, by the Padres' arm. And uh, I didn't like the bat toss by Austin. So, you know, I, I think that uh, if you can combine those two, you have a pretty good brawl. Good answer. All right, Shark Fans series over tomorrow night at 6 against Lynn. Hopefully you come out here and support us. If not, tune in on NSUSharks.com. Brownie, thanks for your time. Thank good you. Luck. Go Sharks.